Meeting the team. Well, here I am, New Mexico. This is where I'll work from now on. We are nine mercenaries, all handpicked by the company. I can't wait to work with and experiment on such an exceptional specimen. I should go introduce myself. Yeah, I'm the scout butter. I'm so fast, nobody's ever gonna hit me. So don't slow me down, old man. Also, just letting you know, I hate needle. Look at your puny noodle arms. You can't even lift a gun, son. I'll make you a soldier America can be proud of. I'm gonna blow you up. Get lost, you bloody mongrel. You are a doctor. I see. I kill people. Please leave me alone. <coughs> Bonjour. Pleased to make your acquaintance, doctor. I am the spy. Oh, thank God. You are the first one here who can talk properly. I hope you had a safe trip. Hmm. Have you met the engineer yet? He was the one who welcomed me when I arrived. An engineer? I will go look for him. I believe he was about to set up his workshop. An engineer must have some kind of higher education, right? He is my only hope of having an academic conversation once in a while. Oh, howdy, partner. I'm the engineer. You're our new miracle healer around here, ain't ya? Well, yes, I suppose so. Nice to meet you. There goes my last hope. Sorry I didn't come to say hello when you arrived. Had to start setting up all my stuff here. A lot of work. But I suppose you met the rest of the team already, Doc. You can say that, yes. But it's not quite what I expected. There is a noisy kid, a noisy moron, a drooling drunkard, a caveman with Tourette's, a brute giant with no brains, an insane mumbling arsonist, and a matchstick man who will be blown away by the first gust of wind. I thought this was supposed to be a team of the world's best mercenaries and not... Not this! I think they're terrifying. Huh? The scout. He is young and inexperienced, but his speed and reflexes are astounding. I fear the skill he might acquire as soon as he gains more experience on the battlefield. Leave me alone, you freak. The soldier. He is a loudmouth, but he is extremely creative in the way he thinks and acts. Nobody knows what he's going to do next. He will be a strong, brave, and unpredictable fighter. Come back here, recruit. The demo man. When he arrived at first, he proudly told me how he builds all his bombs and grenades. Behind the unhealthy drinking habit is a man with a steady hand and a lot of chemical knowledge. The sniper. As an assassin, he probably spent most of his time alone, thus his lack of people skills. He's a lone wolf with a foul mouth. But maybe he'll come out of his shell eventually. I arrived safely home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say hello to dad for me. Mm -hmm. Love you too. The big guy from Russia. He must be way more than just his bronze. No, this man is intelligent and perceptive. His eyes are remorseless. He doesn't trust anyone. He doesn't show mercy to his enemies. I wonder what happened to him that made his eyes turn so cold. The Pyro. I admit he initially scared me, but when I observed him closer, it seemed like he was playing when he sets things on fire. He giggled like a little kid. It's hard to guess what's on his mind, especially since he doesn't seem to speak. The Spy. He is really difficult to see through. A master of controlling his voice and gestures, and the way he moves and observes his surroundings, he might not be strong physically, but he is the most likely one of the most dangerous people here. Oh, I I didn't realize they were they were actually like that. And you doc? You are no normal man either. The way you move suggests you've undergone a lot of physical training, maybe in the military. 
and there is this glint in your eyes. You know you're good. You know you're better than most others, but you want to go beyond what everyone thinks is possible. You want to explore, research, study. You want to accomplish. You want to understand. You want to know everything. And no one should try to get in your way. Am I right? Who are you? Oh, I ain't nobody special. Just some guy from Texas with a decent perception. I like inventing and building things. I know how to wield a gun. And that's about it. The only thing that reassures me is that I'm surrounded by extraordinary people like y'all here. I'm looking forward to working with ya, Doc. <laughs> you know what? I think I changed my mind about using him as my specimen. Likewise, Engineer. I think we're going to get along well.